Hey guys, what's up? This is another commentary from Boris Media Prods, and today I'll be teaching you guys how to make a jump scare. Now, this is like a more of a pop-up pop up jump scare where it doesn't just show up an image, actually it shows you the the object itself, and then makes it disappear quickly. It's actually not that hard to do, that's why there are many in the horror games out there, because it's actually not that hard to do. In my next tutorial, um, after this, I'll be teaching how to make a sound, but for now, like how to add a sound, but for now, let's just stick with doing the basic jump scare. So, we're gonna load Unity. I already have my mono develop open, because it takes like a couple hours to, it takes hours to open a stupid mono develop, because my laptop is slow. Alrighty, right. So, let's close this. Come on, come on, come on. Why does it do that? God. All right. So, first thing to do is we need to make a plane and kind of make it zoom it out. And we need a third person controller. And as I'm saying, this is not a, uh, like, if you're a beginner, but you're, like, good at it, just follow what I do. If you are not a beginner, then you probably know what to do. So you need, a, obviously, a first-person controller, a plane, and I'm just going to make it a fast speed. I want to design some terrain. You can you can do your own style. You can follow mine. It doesn't really matter. I don't care if you do anything with it. So just yeah, and enjoy the music. Hey, Uncle Sam, do you do the dancing? I do the dancing. I have to go to school first. Oh, okay. <laughs> Every day, go to school to be the good boys. Every day, go to school to be the good boys. That's the way to do. Did you know that I like to do the dance? Did you know that I like to do the dancing? Did you know that I like to do dancing? Alright, so what we got here is this kind of simple, really simple made house. It's not really that hard to make, but what, whatever. So this is the, the fun part. In this part, I'll be adding a jump scare. So, when you create an empty, you're going to add a component, physics, box glider. If you don't have this, you're gonna click on game object, component, physics, box collider. Once you have that, you're gonna click right here that it's a trigger. Okay, now what you usually do is I, I, you size it up a bit. And you make it bigger. And if we play the game right now, we can walk through it. Because if you if you did not click this box, it would be like an invisible wall that blocks you from. Well, that just blocks you. This is basically like. A trigger is basically a certain place that you walk into and well yeah it's like a certain it's a certain place so we want to make something appear in my case I'm a very cheap guy I'm just gonna I'm gonna make this fear appear So 
we're gonna make a sphere up here. No, that bloody the bloody sphere up here. Alright, so you make sure that our sphere is behind this guy. That's good enough. Alright. What I also like to do is I like to create a point light. Bring it on where the sphere is. Draw a halo maybe. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna drag that point light onto our sphere. Alright, so now, now this is the fun part. We wanna make because if we run the game now nothing really happens. All we have is this weird sphere thing in the middle of the screen. But we want it to appear when we enter our trigger. So for that we shall create a script. Create a JavaScript. And we'll call this trigger fire. And we're probably gonna click open. Now, I already wrote my script, so so it's really trigger fire. No, wait, actually, wait. Alright, I guess I'll have to have a new script. So, I, I saved the script because I don't not, I'm only, I do not really remember it by memory. So, I have to open it like, like this. Alright, there it is. There it is. It's going to be in the description. Copy and paste it right here. So, I'm just going to edit the script here. So, at the beginning of the game, this 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 line right here. It's, it, it says that in the beginning of the game, the sphere will not be seen. When you enter the trigger, it's going to be seen. And when you exit the trigger, it's going to disappear. So, in the beginning, it disappears. When you enter the trigger, it appears. When you leave the trigger, it disappears. So, save. Alright, so here we got a script. What we want to do is want to make this a child of game object. Gonna open up game object and want to drag or trigger to our game object. Now it's a flame just because I dimmed it that way. I'm gonna drag the sphere right here now watch what happens it disappears in the beginning of the game you walk it appears and disappears and if you make it a horror a horror game it it will be pre pre scary now you can make so yeah please subscribe to my channel for part two for part two just subscribe to my channel like old videos and stuff and thank you for watching <laughs>